As NATO foreign affairs ministers from across the globe arrive in Brussels today, they're met with dozens of Ukrainians laying down outside the European Council to pay tribute to the Bucha victims and to call for an EU response. The NATO foreign affairs ministers are meeting over two days to discuss how they will respond to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Officials say they're also looking for ways to step up their support for the country's right to defend itself, including with equipment, increased humanitarian assistance and financial aid. We have all seen the atrocities uh, that have been committed in Buja and uh, uh, other places in Ukraine. Uh, this reveals the true nature of uh, President uh, Putin's war. Uh, any targeting and killing of uh, civilians uh, is a war crime. The meeting comes just days after hundreds of civilian bodies were found in mass graves, some gruesomely murdered in Bucha, a town outside of the capital of Ukraine. In his opening remarks, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg warned that the conflict in Eastern Europe could last a long time. He also called for those responsible for the brutal killings in Bucha and other Ukrainian towns to be held to account. Indication that uh, President Putin has uh, changed his ambition to control uh, the whole of Ukraine. Uh, and also to rewrite uh, the international order. So we need to be prepared for a long uh, haul. We need to support Ukraine, sustain our sanctions and strengthen our uh, defenses. Meanwhile in Bucha, residents can be seen venturing outside their homes today to survey what's left of their town following its recapture of Ukrainian troops after weeks of Russian occupation. All around, you can see clear evidence of destruction, burnt out tanks and piles of ammunition on roads. This resident saying, honestly, I served in the army, but something like this, I have never witnessed it. I just can't understand why do they need to kill civilians? I don't get it. In a news conference, a Russia foreign ministry spokesperson claims images of the dead bodies were designed to justify more sanctions against Moscow and derail peace talks with Kyiv. Russia has denied the killing, saying under the control of Russian forces, not a single local resident suffered any violent action. Mosanakovli, City News.